This video demonstrates how we can check for the influential outliers using the box plot analysis. In order to perform the box plot analysis, follow the following steps. On the top panel, you can see the graphs, select graphs. In the drop down, go to the legacy dialogues. And once you select the legacy dialogues, there will be a number of different dialogues that you can use. But what we need is the box plot. Repeating, the steps are go to the graph, legacy dialogue, and the box plot. Once you select the box plot, you will come up with a new window. In this particular window, you need to select the simple, the simple, right? At the same time, from the data in chart area, select the summarizers of separate variables. Repeating, from the box plot, there's two options, simple and clustered. What we need is the simple, so select that. From the data in chart area, select the summarizers of separate variables. Once select that, click on the define. Click on the define. Now that will open up a new window like this. From this window, in this particular window, what you need to do is you need to select the particular variables that you want to calculate the that you want to perform the box plot for. So out of these all different uh, variables that I have here, what I want is to perform the box plot for the independent variable one two, three, four, and then the other two variables that I, have in, that I have in my model. Select the respective variables from the list and then take it to the boxes represent area. So once you click on this particular arrow on the model in the middle, it will go to the particular box plot represents. And in case if you want to remove any of these particular indicators or the variables, you can always select that and then click on this arrow so that it will go back to the original place where it was. But I need that, so I just I'm going to take it here anyway. Good. Now, the next step is just click on this OK button. Once you click on the OK button, you can see the box plot is uh, you know uh, you can see the box plot in the uh, statistics viewer area. So here you can see this response number 10, 13, 31, and 32 are the outliers for the first variable in the IV01 AVG. Second variable, the response number 13 and 75 are the outliers. Subsequently, you can see the, the respective outliers for the other variables as well. Now, instead of removing all these outliers, what I would consider is removing the influential outliers. Question is, which of these outliers are the influential outliers? As an example, if you go to the second variable, we can see the response number 13 and 75 are the outliers. Subsequently, the third variable, the response number 10 and 75 are the, are the outliers. Fourth variables, response 4, 27 and 75 are the outliers. Likewise, you can see the outliers for the other variables as well. Now, you would also observe that response number 75 is an outlier for the second variable, for the third variable, for the fourth variable and for the dependent variable as well. So this particular response number 75 could be a influential outlier that we can consider removing from the data set. If that's the case, if you want to remove response number 75, we can go to the respective data file and then go to the row number 75. And then select that, select that, just left click on the button, you can select that, and then right click on the respective row, and then you just click on the clear. It'll remove from the data set. This is how we remove the influential outliers from the, based upon the box plot analysis that you perform.